Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about my dry skin girls. Now, I think I get asked honestly in almost every single video and on Twitter and on Snapchat and on Periscope, basically everywhere, what my favorite products are for dry skin. I have perpetually dry skin. My skin is so dry and I've had so much trouble finding products that will really work for it. So I have narrowed down and really like took out the creme de la creme, the best of the best, foundations, primers, and powders for dry skin. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. Do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and let's get right into it. All right, so now let's get into the primers. So my favorite types of primers to use with my dry skin are hydrating primers and primers that add a little bit of glow. And then I have one here that is a smoothing primer, which is the primer that I use when my skin has sort of like gross texture to it. So probably one of my favorite primers that really moisturizes my skin is this Glossier Priming Moisturizer. This product is not gonna make your makeup last any longer. This is just going to really add a really nice base layer for your foundation and it's just going to help make the foundation that you apply on top of it go on a lot smoother. You could almost use this as like sort of your moisturizer and then even go in with a second primer but honestly I just sort of use this by itself and I just love using this when I just feel like I need a little bit of moisture to my skin and I don't really have to worry too much about longevity. Probably my all-time favorite primer for my dry skin is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer. So this is very very similar to the Glossier primer however I do find that this primer also smooths my skin like the tiniest bit. It almost has like a little bit of a slick feeling to it. And this also does allow my makeup to last a little bit longer. So if you want something that's gonna help with hydration and longevity, then this is your guy. Now moving on to primers, I give a little bit of glow. The Becca Backlight Priming Filter is definitely one of my favorites. This gives your skin a very, very intense glow. So if your skin is feeling extra, extra dry and you sort of want a little bit of an extra boost and fake that your skin is looking hydrated, then this is a really, really, really great product. It has a glow without there being any sparkle in it, which is super nice. Like, it's not like you're gonna apply this and you're gonna look like a disco ball. It just gives your skin a little bit of that sheen. I like to apply this all over my face if I'm having a very, very bad skin day. But if not, then I just like to apply it sort of on the high points of my face just to give my skin that extra glow. And this also smells amazing which is an extra plus. Now this is a newer find, but I've been really enjoying this. This is the Dior Air Flash CC Primer, and it's a radiance boosting color correcting primer. It's a spray form, so it's basically in an aerosol can, and you spray this all over your face. It has a slight like peachy pink tint to it, but it's not that noticeable when you actually spray it on your face. And this just gives your skin a really gorgeous radiance to it. It looks so beautiful. It's very similar to the Becca one in the way that it makes your skin look, but I find it's almost like more refined. Honestly, spraying this on your face is really fun. I'm not gonna lie. The last primer that I wanna recommend is the um, Hourglass Mineral Primer. Now this primer I originally thought was more meant for oily skin, but I have been using it myself and I've been really enjoying it. When I have a lot of texture in my skin, I like to use this primer because I find that it really does sort of even out my skin a little bit and it's just really, really great for that. It's not the most hydrating primers in the world, but if you have some texture in your skin, this is a really, really great one. All right, so now moving on to foundations. My favorite everyday foundation is 100%. This is gonna be a surprise if you've been following my channel for a while. The It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. This gives me a beautiful, medium, almost full coverage, even though it's a CC cream, still gives me a ton of coverage without looking like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. And what's so nice about this is that it is so dewy, but it's not overly dewy that you look oily. When I'm having a bad skin day, I will put this on and my skin all of a sudden just looks so much better. There's something about this that makes it look airbrushed and that just really makes your skin look hydrated and healthy. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. Now you could either get a light coverage with this or more of a medium to full. It really depends how you apply it. If you use a brush, you could definitely get a full coverage and if you apply it with a little bit more of a heavy hand definitely get a full coverage but the way I like to apply it I just sort of do like a few stripes here 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 and then down my nose and then I will take my beauty blender and I'll just dab it out and it just gives me the most perfect amount of coverage without looking like I'm wearing a ton of makeup I would say this also has a pretty natural looking finish it's not overly dewy whatsoever now on the days that I want a little bit more of a lighter coverage and a very heavy glow like I want to look glowing. I want to look wet. 
this is the foundation that I will use. This is the Giorgio Armani Maestro Glow Nourishing Fusion Makeup. So this is basically like a serum foundation. I don't even know how to explain like how beautiful this foundation looks on the skin. It's very, very liquidy and it blends out like a freaking dream. And it gives you like the most glowy looking skin like you will ever get. I honestly don't mind applying this foundation with a brush because I find it gives me a little bit more coverage. So if I want a more natural looking coverage that gives me a very intense glow, this is the guy that I always reach for. And this is my all time favorite drugstore um, foundation for dry skin. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I actually did a first impression on this. If you'd like to see it, I will link it down below. So if you're not familiar with cushion foundations, this is what it looks like. The foundation is basically embedded in this foundation and when you press it, with your finger, the foundation comes out. It gives you, surprisingly, a medium coverage. I thought it would be a lot lighter coverage than it actually is, and it just gives you such a beautiful, dewy look. Only con to this is that it is a little bit more expensive for a drugstore foundation, but honestly, I think it's worth every penny. <laughs> Lastly, we've got my all-time favorite foundation for dry skin. This is the Cogendo Apple Foundation. When somebody asks me what is your recommendation for dry skin for a foundation, I always, always, always recommend this one. Water foundations are amazing for the skin because they're very buildable, but they don't get cakey, which is awesome. So you could really build this up from a light to more of like a medium full coverage, like not complete full, but like a medium full. This is my favorite foundation to use when I'm going out because it doesn't have any SPF in it, so I'm not gonna risk any, any flashback. It makes my skin look really, really nice and hydrated. It wears really, really nicely. Cogendo Aqua is like my number one, my holy grail, my baby. If you have dry skin, you may be a little bit scared of powder, and to be honest with you, I was very scared of powder. I've only very recently started to set my face with powder because powder just really scared me. Um, every time I would use powder, my face would just look so cakey and it would feel so heavy. So these three are the only three powders that I will use to set my whole entire face. My under eyes is a different story, but to set my whole entire face, nothing else but these will, will touch it basically until I find something else that's just as good. So I bought this because Jaclyn Hill was raving about it and Jaclyn has very, very dry skin as well. So I was like, okay, but if it works for her dry skin, I need to try it out. And this is not easy on the wallet. Let me tell you that. It is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact, but it is probably the best powder that I've ever used. What I like so much about this is that it will set my makeup without it even feeling or looking like I even put powder on my face. Like my face will be dry to the touch after I apply like a liquid foundation, but it won't look like I put powder on it. So it's like the strangest thing. It's almost like an invisible, powder that sort of just melts into the skin. It just sets my makeup without making me look cakey and that's all I can ask for. So another powder that I love for my dry skin, this is sort of like the one that I was using the most before I found the Giorgio Armani one and this is the Hourglass powder in dim light. So this is their ambient lighting powders. So this powder is really nice for dry skin because it's not like a mattifying matte powder. This powder has a little bit of a sheen to it. So you're not going to be mattifying your face when using this powder. Cause that's another thing with powders, like because my skin is so dry, I don't want to mattify it. I sort of just want to set my makeup. Um, so this is really, really great for something like that because it will not give you a very flat matte look. And because these hourglass powders are so finely milled, it just it's on the skin so beautifully without it looking heavy. And lastly, I have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. This is a very, very light powder. You don't get a lot of coverage with this, which is nice because a lot of the times I don't even want extra coverage with my powder. I just want to set my face, but it does have like the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit in case you want just a little bit of coverage. But this powder is really nice because it is very, very, very smooth. It is very finely milled. And similar to both of the other powders that I spoke about, it will not make your face look cakey. It will just simply set your makeup. All right guys, so that concludes all of my favorite powders, foundations, and primers for dry skin. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did, and of course subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for all of us dry skin gals. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.